behind the hair. It is a thousand degrees today. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is an exciting video. I'm going to be doing a 10 day juice cleanse or a juice fast. It may seem crazy to some of you and fair enough. I know there is a lot of controversy around juicing, particularly around fruit juicing because it, you get more concentrated levels of sugar. It spikes your blood sugar. And it can also, you know, cause you to feel more hungry. There's all these other things around it. And I was one of these people that were a bit standoffish towards juicing. And so I was sort of, I haven't juiced in a long time. I have smoothies and all that, but I haven't been juicing. And the juicing that I'll be doing throughout this video, I use my blender, so I don't actually have a proper juicer. So I'll still be having the pulp, which is all the fibrous bits. So mine's sort of a fibrous juice. But I wanted to do this juicing because I recently watched a documentary called Fat, Sick and Nearly Dead by Joe Cross. It's a great documentary. I'll link it in the description below. You can watch it for free on YouTube. His whole life changed when he started doing juicing. He had this autoimmune disease and that completely healed up after he did a 60 day juice cleanse. For me, I'm just doing 10 days. I just want to get the benefits of more micronutrients. So you want to try and have as much of like fresh fruits and veggies in their raw state as possible to receive all those nutrients and juicing is a great way to do this for me personally i wanted to do a 10 day juice cleanse to help kind of reboot my system since moving out of home i've been eating out so much more i found that over the last few months my skin has been breaking out so much more because i'm eating all these unhealthy foods i'm even getting like not back knee but like back pimples and things and I did never have that and I wanted to kind of reset my system reset my taste buds to prefer and to go towards the healthy foods and fruits and vegetables because at the moment I'm so addicted to sugar <laughs> so the first thing I did to start kickstart my juice cleanse was I went to the markets and I just bought so many fruits and vegetables like so many just all the greens I actually went through and took all the green apples that I could find at the markets. So for me, I try and go organic with the greens, so the leafy greens and the green apples, just because they're the ones te that tend to be more pesticide laden than the others. And then for the other fruits and vegetables that I bought, so like the beetroot, the pineapple, and all that, I got from just the store. So I'll be having about four juices a day. As you can see, mine are more pulpy because I don't strain out the pulp. I drink, like, the, like I said earlier, the whole fruit. The pulp does get quite intense sometimes. Like yesterday, on my third juice, I was like, I've had enough of pulpy juice. I was like, I kind of want just like a smooth juice. I might even, can, like I'm considering, I might even so sometimes strain out the pulp just like using like a nut milk bag so I can have more of a smooth juice. But yeah, I found that yesterday, I was like, after my first juice, I'm like, I can do this. Like this first juice was amazing. I can like totally live off just juice. But by the third juice yesterday, I was like, I've had enough already. <laughs> I miss food. <laughs> but I thought I'd try pineapple this time just to sort of cover up the beetroot taste a bit more. During day two and three, I went through intense, intense cravings of food. That's all I could think about most of the day. And I found that to be really challenging. But by day four, I found I was just waking up really tired. I felt drained and just as tired as I did going to sleep. I found waking up, I didn't feel rested at all. And I read that that can be due to a detoxing phase, which can last for the first five to six days of juice cleansing. So I put this extreme tiredness to that as just my body detoxing. So I thought I'd quickly share how I've been keeping my greens from wilting because I did buy so many greens all up front. So I've been keeping them wrapped in a damp towel with just a moraine to stop the towel opening because I found that just storing them like dry in the crisper in the fridge was not doing it. They were still wilting. Straining them out has been so much easier to drink, like particularly the beetroot one. On my first day when I was having all the pulp, it was good. You get all that fiber, but I found the beetroot especially was like, it was very overpowering. I was like, I need to strain out, especially like the beetroot juice. The joys of juicing. 
So we're officially on day seven of the juice cleanse. <gasps> I've now run out of kale, so I'm just adding together all my leftover ingredients to make the rest of my juices. I have noticed my skin breaking out a little bit, particularly here. It's sort of breaking out, but I'm thinking again, it's like detoxing side of it. So I'm hoping my skin will start to really shine. Because I said when you juice a lot and have a lot of healthy foods and like veggies, fruits and veggies, like in their raw form, helps create a lovely glowing effect in the skin. It may take longer than a 10 day cleanse. And apparently even the whites of your eyes, they become really white. Sometimes it can have like a yellow tinge. It is officially day 10 of my cleanse. So the final day, I'm so excited. I am feeling amazing, I have to say. Since day seven, I've had so much more energy. I wake up and I'm actually raring to go. And I went on a bike ride, probably it was day eight of my cleanse. I went on a bike ride with my housemate, Jackie, and we rode all the way to the beach. And I was like pumping away. I was like just loving it, so into it. And by the time we got there, she was like super out of breath. She was really tired, but I felt so energized. And I was like, I could just keep going. Like I felt so good and I've had so much energy since. I've lost weight, but that was not the goal. And I, I can understand I've lost some of that will come back once I start eating proper meals again. But my goal is to just not eat like processed takeout foods for the rest of the month to get myself like cement this really good habit in place. So I will keep the juicing going. I'll supplement the juice as snacks. So I'll probably have one to two juices a day depending on how hungry I am. Like I actually think I get so excited about having kale, about having lettuce. Who gets excited about having lettuce? No one. I've also noticed as well that my skin has cleared up so much. Same with my chest. It's completely cleared. So I'm hoping that, you know, over the next month, I will give you guys an update in a month's time on how I'm going. And hopefully I'll be able to maintain a healthy weight for me. Hey guys, so it's exactly one month later to the day. So I've been having a juice almost every day. Some days I'll miss, I'll miss it and some days I'll forget to have a juice. But overall, most days I'll have at least one juice every day. I found my skin has actually stayed clear. You can see, I'm no longer having all these pimples. It's stayed clear, it's been amazing. I haven't eaten any like takeout this whole month. I'm very proud of myself. I've had like a few like of the chocolate that I get from the bulk food store and things as like a little treat. But other than that, I haven't been getting takeout or anything. Again, it's reflected in my skin. Actually, my roommate and I, we're going to be doing a juice cleanse together next time in the next few months, just for fun. Uh, I know that's our version of fun. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do let me know if you try out juice cleansing yourself and your experience of it. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again soon in my next video. Bye.